Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball Book Review. Every week, we take a look at a new, or an old, or a fiction, or a non-fiction book about baseball. And today kind of continues a theme that we will be doing, uh, continuing tomorrow, uh, about making good decisions in baseball games from a managerial perspective, from a strategic perspective. Uh, I started that with Smart Baseball by Keith Law in last week's um, uh, book review, and I'm continuing it this week with a review of the book. And the book is written by three men, Tom Tango, Mitchell uh, Lichtman, and Andrew Dolphin. And the foreword is by Pete Palmer. And if you've read any of Bill James's stuff, you know who Pete Palmer is. Long history with the Rangers. Um, he was sort of Bill James before Bill James. Um, the book is a, an attempt to uh, use analytical data, quantitative data, numbers, crunch the numbers, and look at commonly accepted baseball strategies. Um, it is uh, about 285 pages long. There is an index. The chapters are broken out pretty much by topic uh, that they want to address. So it's organized quite well. There are a lot of numbers and tables in and charts in the book, but, um, the book also contains these, uh, boxes that in each chapter, mult and in most cases, I think in all cases, there are multiple boxes that sort of summarize what the finding is, what's the moral to the story about this particular strategy. And that's why I like the book. Not because I can keep up with the math, because I can't, but because they do tell me what the analytics say makes sense strategically about certain moves. So for example, one move they look at is to look at what happens if you bring your closer in in the eighth inning? Does that reduce their effectiveness in the ninth inning? I won't spoil that one for you, but I'm going to spoil this one. Um, here's a, uh, and this is what the, uh, the boxes look like so you can get a sense of it. It really boils down what they're finding. It's a small, I don't know, maybe a fifth of a page uh, summary of what their study finds. The examples that they provide are also nice in the sense that they refer to recent, and by that I mean the last 20, 25 years or so, uh, baseball strategic choices and uh, blunders, uh, master strokes and blunders both by managers in certain strategic situations. Here's an example of one of the boxes. It says, the book says, and that's how each box starts. The book says, if the opposing manager is thinking about attempting a sacrifice with a runner on first and no outs and a non-pitcher at the plate, tell him, that you will gladly give the runner second base in exchange for an out. In fact, tell him he has that option in advance anytime there is a runner on first and no outs and a non-pitcher at the plate. It boils down what they tell you, what the data says. Now they go on to talk about bunting in different situations. And one of the things, or I guess the second big thing, other than the boxes, that I really like about the book is that it's not black and white. Like, they'll look at a particular strategic choice, like bunting, for example, and the results will be, well, in this case, it's a good idea, but in this case, it's not a good idea. And 
kind of nuance the position that they're taking so that you can get a sense of, first of all, that these are difficult decisions and they tell you that in this book, that the manager has to make these decisions on the fly and can't do computations off the, you know, on the fly uh, before he sends in the signal to his third base coach about whether the batter should lay down a bunt or not. So I like all of that. They uh, sort of confess the difficulty of some of these choices and that sometimes they're a good idea and sometimes they're a bad idea and they're not hard and fast rules. So you're not going to find, for example, on the intentional walk in this book, always do it here and never do it here. There's some nuance and I like that. I appreciate that. It shows that there is some appreciation for the difficulty of the manager's role in these strategic choices and the idea that there's not always a 100% correct choice. And that's where I live. I want to know um, what the exceptions to the rule are. And this book gets into that, and I appreciate that about the book. It's well written. There's good examples. The math, I don't know. Sometimes I can follow it. Sometimes I can't. The index is very helpful because you can look up particular topics. But as I said, the chapters are kind of broken out by topics as well. Uh, I paid... Uh, eight dollars for this at a used bookstore in my city so i'm it's not expensive the copyright is 2007 uh, so the examples are certainly ones that we will all uh, remember from recent baseball history the publisher is potomac books and uh, this is my book for this week it's the book Come on back tomorrow when we will be taking a look at some strategic choices, Kurt Berglund's strategy stumpers, and we will be looking at a strategic choice that is dealt with in this book, and I'm going to give you some hypothetical examples to choose and decide for yourself, if you were the manager, what would you do? So, Kurt Berglund's strategy stumpers tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Labor Day and um, take it easy because you're supposed to on Labor Day. Uh, and come on back tomorrow at 10 a.m. for Kurt Berglund's Strategy Stumpers. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. I need your support to keep my channel going. Thank you so much, my friends. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.